Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Windows Insider Preview 25370 Canary Channel which got released on Monday 22nd May. Let's look into it. What are the new features added as per Microsoft documentation and as per Windows Insider community. All these we are going to check out in this video. So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and watch it out. Let's talk about 25370 can rebuild inside a version. It's getting downloaded now. And last week there was no inside a build release. Now the downloading and installation is completed. Now it's time to restart this particular laptop. There are two options start now and uh, schedule restart. Let's restart it. Then we'll see what are the new features, what are the highlights, changes, improvements in 25370 build. So let's talk about the update, the latest Canary build update, and that got installed on this laptop. And I have restarted the device. It's Windows 11 preview 25370.1 that is ZN release and it got installed on this device and as you can see this particular feature button is enabled it was not enabled for me previously now I can enable it or disable it so I'm going to enable it this is moment drop feature if you enable it you will get all the latest feature updates without waiting for annual feature update release from windows this is my insider device and i'm going to enable this this was not available for me in the previous build of canary so previous build was 25357.1 and i'm not going to click on this because it is going to give me the same team updates so let's go back and check one of the updates you can see over here and that is if i go to network and internet and then go to advanced network settings if i click on wi-fi you can see more adapter options this is new one if i click on edit you can see it opens up the wi-fi properties from the classic window it is available for other connections also ethernet so that is one of the updates that microsoft highlighted in the documentation this is the documentation that microsoft released for 25370 version on 22nd may and it says this is the new support introduced support for vptm in hyper v on windows arm builds once you upgrade your host os to this particular version vtpm options will be there and there are some networking improvements changes as you can see over here net sh command supports bridging adapters now there are some improvements in pass point wi-fi networks a phone link application update is also there wpa3 support to the phone link instant hotspot feature for more secure connection now phone as you can see phone link application is getting updated on my device and there are some improvements which is coming with this build to font link also there are some interesting findings from different uh, windows insiders on the twitter etc as you can see over here 25370 include secure boot update secure boot updates details this windows insider also highlighted that search highlights is removed and ping logo is returned so i can see the same thing over here also provide some interesting information like zn release is slightly focused on getting things stable for xbox you can also check the windows feedback hub application to get the latest feedback details on this windows insider can rebuild and you can report a problem or suggest a feature also from this now that you have seen all the details about 25370 inside a build canary channel features updates improvements etc etc from microsoft and community let me know in the comments what you think about this thank you all for watching see you around